Alright, just a short little video today. It's going to be on Jimmy Carter passing George H.W. Bush for uh, becoming the oldest living former president in U.S. history. And Jimmy Carter became the oldest former living U.S. president in history on March 22nd, 2019. So March 22nd, a date written like the number 322. And, you know, this is significant because Skull and Bones, the secret society that operates or is headquartered out of New Haven, Connecticut, where, you know, where Yale is. They also go by order 322, chapter 322. So, yeah, 322 is a big number with Skull and Bones. And George H.W. Bush was a member of Skull and Bones. Another thing is Jimmy Carter passed George H.W. Bush for being the oldest living U.S. president three months and 22 days after George H.W. Bush died. And credit to Jamatra Effect News, Zachary K. Hubbard, for this find. I just I wanted to look at some of the information he had with uh, Jimmy Carter, and uh, I found that he pointed that connection out. So, Although Jimmy Carter, it's not publicly known if he was a member or not. He may have been, he may not have been, but there is definitely a connection between him and Yale. So later in his life, although he didn't attend Yale formally, he spent time as a visiting fellow, whatever that means, at Yale University's Institution for Social and Policy Studies. And then he gave a, uh, a public presentation at Yale on December 2nd in 2014. Just kind of interesting, you know, and he was also the 76th governor of Georgia. Skull and Bones in Gematria equals 76 in the reverse reduction cipher. You know, 76 is another big number with them. You know, speaking of George H.W. Bush, his son, George W. Bush, his birthday is on a date written like 76 on July 6, 7 slash 6. All right, I had to come to a old post of mine on the bombing of the Georgia Guidestones to refresh myself on some more uh, connections between Jimmy Carter, the number 76, and Skull and Bones. You know, like I said, Skull and Bones equals 76, and Skull and Bones equals 76 in the same cipher that James Carter does, which is... Jimmy Carter's real first and last name, but Jimmy Carter was, or James Carter, was the president when the Georgia Guidestones opened. The Georgia Guidestones major skull and bones ritual, not only its opening, but it also it's the bombing of it. You know, it opened on none other than March 22nd, 3 slash 22, and then it was bombed on July 6th, 7 slash 6, like 76th, and it was bombed on the very day that George Bush, who has the 7 6 birthday like we talked about, it was bombed on the very day he turned 76. Can't even make this stuff up. But um, anyways, also the phrase President Carter equals 76. Like I said, he was the 76th governor of Georgia. But that was before he was elected president in 1976. And, okay, so yeah, the day after the Guidestones got bombed, Jimmy Carter and his wife celebrated their 76th wedding anniversary. So that means they got married the day after George W. Bush was born. Very interesting stuff. So yeah, but that's all I wanted to say, so thank you guys for watching, and I'm out. Peace.